Hello and welcome back to another How to Bloke. Now today is a hot one, it's another hot one. This year has been incredibly hot. Uh, have a look at the temperature gauge on there, please, uh, camera person. Can you see that? 36 is it? 37 something? Yeah, it feels hotter than that. Anyway, I love talking about the weather, it's probably my age. Now this is my uh, Yamaha YZFR1, 1998 it is. A uh, superb machine, superb. And I want to talk today about something gone wrong electrically. Now I'll just let you start it up. And what I want you to look at is the volt voltage uh, in the battery resting and whilst it's charging, right? So camera person, you come around here for a minute. So what I want you to do, camera person, is show that voltmeter over there in the corner. So <clears throat> this is resting voltage. This is what the battery uh, shows uh, in voltage right now. Okay, so we're going to start it. Right. Now, what you saw there was the voltage increase, right? Which you should do. Now, what's happened is, this, the reason I'm doing this video is because it might help some of you out. Batteries don't last forever, do they? Lead acid, but any battery doesn't last forever. Now, in this type of vehicle, right, there's a battery in underneath the seat, and it, it's not like that. It doesn't sit like upright like that. It sits like that, right? So it, the battery itself has got to be sealed, a sealed battery. It's in other words, a non one that doesn't require any maintenance, okay? Sealed one. And I recommend a good quality one for this because, uh, you know, it, it has its benefits. Uh, right, so what happens is, it, what, this, what can happen is sometimes this battery can leak. Not this particular make or whatever, but sometimes batteries do leak. And especially a new one, you're thinking, well, why is this battery brand new? Why does it leak? Well, what happened before was, if you come around here again, have a person, do the voltmeter again. Right, this is resting voltage, okay? Now, what happened used to happen before, that voltmeter used to go up to 17, 18, 19, 20, sometimes even 20 volts. And I was thinking, this is, this is not right. This shouldn't be... You know that volt. You shouldn't get get that much juice from the alternator. You know, it's not it's not good for the battery. And I am I'm, my belief is is that it, it not boils the battery, but the battery gets hot, hotter than it gets more charge than it should do. In my opinion, that voltage should not be more than 15. Uh, 14.5 volts is at perfect. Don't really want any more than that. Okay, so what's gone wrong with it then? Well. In between the alternator, which de develops uh, alternating current, and the battery is something like this. Now, not every machine has got this, but you know, it's got to have something like this. And what this does, this is a um, rectifier regulator. In other words, what it does, it rectifies, it changes the AC voltage from the alternator into DC, and then regulates it so it can't go up below, above, like 14 and a half, 15 something, absolute max. This is broken, right? This is the one I just changed this today. And this, this on this particular bike, it's different on all bikes, but this thing live, li lives just in there. So you've got to take the seat off, you've got to take a tank off and it's in there. Now, this is a job you can do for an average DIYer. Yes, it, it, I think it is. Now, if you take your time, take photographs of it, uh, it's, it's doable. Uh, this particular one I changed, it was 33 euros on Amazon, okay? Um, so there we go. Now, this is the old one. Now, look at that. There, is, You wouldn't see, there's no, there's no burn marks or scorching or anything on the terminals there. You know, it's not leaking at all. You can't press it in. There's no bulges or anything. So there's no physical 
way you can say oh well that's definitely busted you know that it definitely needs changing because it looks exactly the same as a new one except that inside there is, is gone wrong so this thing this particular one this particular one was allowing the battery to get too much voltage right too much charge and uh, it I think it caused the, the battery to leak in my view so I bought one of these put it on there uh, it took for me I've done it before this is not the first one it's had is this uh, these things go every uh, I, that's, uh, this is the third one I think in the time I've had the bike so you know but my point is is that it's worth getting one of these voltmeters for two reasons one it tells you if the battery's been getting too much juice and secondly if the battery if you see the volts drop below 12 or something you know that the battery is not being charged and you're riding along and you're thinking hang on a minute at any moment now the battery's going to give up you know and the bike might stop may not be able to start it again so that's another thing so the, how much is that uh, voltage regulator well that's 10 bucks 10 euros 10 dollars whatever so that's worth having on, on a bike, an old bike like this. Also, on a I've got it on a tractor as well, because I want to know what's happening there. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that's something that solved the mystery of yours. Uh, why that your battery keeps leaking. I mean, there's workarounds for that, but you want to really get to the, get to the source of it, you know, which is this rectifier uh, regulator thing. So, there we go. Anyway, I've got some more... I haven't got too many bike videos yet, but... I've got some cooking up here because I cook. I've got some uh, quick tips up here. And I've got some DIYs down here. So until next time.